Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In a relational database, you aren't supposed to have records in a child or related table which have no reference in the parent table. For example, in a sales table that contains a shipper ID field, any reference placed into the shipper ID field in the sales table should correspond to a valid shipper ID in the shippers table. However, sometimes that isn't always the case. If properly constructed from the beginning, enforcing referential integrity on your access table will ensure that you do not have unmatched records. But if you are creating a new access database from data that was perhaps previously stored in a spreadsheet, you may have references and data appended into your table which lack a reference in the parent table. Using the Find Unmatched query, find such records in a child table that don't contain any valid reference to an entry in the parent table. Such records are said to be orphaned. You can then recreate the necessary reference in the record shown, maintaining the data's validity. To create a Find Unmatched query, click Queries in the Database Container, and then click New in the Database Container. Select the Find Unmatched Query Wizard in the New Query dialog box and click OK to launch the Find Unmatched Query Wizard. In the first screen, select the name of the table or query that may contain unmatched or orphaned records. So let's say that we have orders with no shippers. So here we would select orders and click Next to continue to screen 2. In the second screen, select the name of the parent table that contains the records that should contain the matching values in the first table selected. So here are shippers. And then click Next to continue. In the third screen, you must select the names of the two fields in each table by which the two tables should be joined. Then click the arrow with the equal sign button to link the two fields for the duration of the query to find the unmatched records. Then click Next to continue to the next screen. Here you can select any additional fields you wish to display in the query results from the available list and click the right pointing arrow button to move them to the selected field list. Then click the Next button to continue to the last screen where you can type in a name for the query into the text box provided. Here we have orders without matching shippers, which seems adequate. So then we would just click Finish to display the records from the first table selected that contain no matching records in the second table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.